What <sighs> time you set me free? <laughs> Your Highness, Lieutenant Tatsunami, ready and willing to serve. I was brought in front of Her Highness in this bizarre manner of my own volition and in no way against my will. That's weird. Thought that'd fix it. I swear someone's staring daggers at my back. Don't tell me I screwed up again. I've got chills running down my spine. Feels like my head's gonna be chopped off the moment I look up. Yes, ma'am. The moment I do, off it goes. Yes, ma'am. If you say so. As you wish. <laughs> um, I didn't get a chance to say this before, but good job out there, Your Highness. Good job out there. Shit, was that too casual? <laughs> the fucking squinting stares from the three idiots. I love it. Not serious at all, thankfully. All I've got is a couple of scabs left. In fact, they're starting to peel off by themselves. Gross. <laughs> It'll take some time before my ears will go back to normal, but this ain't nothing I can't live with. Uh, no, please, you don't need to worry about me. I'm serious. Bill have always told me my sturdiness is one of my few redeeming features. At this time, when I was in elementary school and tried to climb the Imperial Palace's outer walls, I ended up falling into the moat, you know, but walked away from the whole thing completely unharmed. Uh... That's too much. Anybody in my position would have done the same. Those words are wasted on me. Okay, so it's kind of a big deal in hindsight, but I didn't think I was doing th anything particularly impressive at the time. And I can't say I didn't hesitate. I had like a thousand things running through my head. Or that I wasn't just swept away by the circumstances. It does sort of feel like the choice wasn't up to me. I'm sure that if I didn't volunteer, your attendants would have gladly taken my place without a second thought. And unlike them, it took me way too long to make up my mind. It shows how much I still have to learn. But you gave me the courage I needed, your highness. After hearing your words, I knew what I had to do. So you know, I think you've got it backwards. I should be thanking you, your highness. Not the other way around. Julie. I've come to terms with the role I have to play, and it's all because of you. So yeah, thank you. Just a few days ago, I hated to hear people fawning over me as a hero. The only reason why I managed to cross the continent is that use goes by my side. The only reason why Seattle still stands is thanks to Major Chinguji's tireless efforts. It pissed me off. Why was I the one getting all the credit? The people who should have been hailed as heroes were cast aside and ignored. For the life of me, I couldn't understand why the spotlight was on a minor player like myself. And sure, Major Jinguji told me to live up to my false reputation, but I didn't have the faintest idea of how to go about it. But then, everything sort of fell into place. Despite everything that's happened, I wouldn't say my path is clear, but that's no excuse to stop walking down this road. Ain't like I can utter a couple words of presto in- a couple words and presto, instant enlightenment. Things don't work like that. Experience. The accumulation of successes and failures is what makes all the difference. You can't remain the same man you once were after you've put in the hours. And that's why, Your Highness, if at any point you think I'm a piece you should play, all you need to do is ask. I swear I'll give it all I've got. Your Highness? Oh shit. This is what always happens when I get in the zone. I keep droning on for like, forever. Mm -hmm. You were thinking about someone else, weren't you? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, Yes? 
いつか私の背中を追い越して己の道を進むそれこそがそなたの本会 Your Highness その時が来たと悟ったならば遠慮せずに申しなさい預かったお命お返しいたしますゆえ Yes ma'am Thank you She saw through me completely Deployed a preemptive strike even Yeah Doing your Highness's bidding can't be my ultimate goal in life can't explain why, but my gut's telling me that's the case. It's gonna be hard, though. Serving Her Highness is an honor, and the status it brings might be intoxicating. Or maybe I'll simply go with the flow and forget about everything, who can say. I know my limitations, so I think it'd be easy for a small fry like me to fall into either one of those traps. Hell, I might have one foot inside already, for all I know. I promise, I'll take your words to heart. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, of course. Consequences, huh? Thought my little stunt the other day would come back to bite me in the ass, but that hasn't been the case so far. Guess there won't be a military trial, but I'll still have to answer to my country somehow. Regardless, Lieutenant Skiomi is hinting at something real important. I assumed authority far beyond my rank, and the time will come when I have to face the music. It's hard to be brought down to earth after all that lofty talk, but if there's something I've learned from Major Jinguji, it's that assuming responsibility is the right thing to do. Oh, great, we're gonna get educated. Hooray. My favorite moments in these games. Let me educate you. Fuck. Huh? Sorry, but is that what you meant by facing the consequences? そうだ。なんだ。随分と軽く捉えているようだな。その道に踏み込むことは少なからず貴様を追い込むぞ。視野を広げなければ常に惑わされ、疑心暗鬼となる。戦場に立ってもそれは拭えない。簡単に言えば
Factions coalesced and disbanded. People with entirely incompatible political ideologies suddenly became fellow travelers, not to advance any particular policies, but to consolidate their grasp on power. Forget about serving your country. State capture was the name of the game. To the populace, their representatives seemed like nothing more than power-hungry jackals. Welcome to politics. And now someone in the know has pretty much confirmed this was an accurate picture. All this led to the Imperial Capital's Defense Regiment suddenly rising in arms and the Royal Guard moving to quash the uprising. It was a frontal attack on our corrupt ruling class, that's why the uprising enjoyed considerable popular support. But when nobody had any idea on which side the pendulum would swing, the Great Ocean Collapse happened, and the whole world went to hell. It's sad, not too many people can afford to care about politics anymore, not when everybody has their hands full just trying to survive. And since nobody's paying attention these days, the Royal Guard government can do whatever it wants. It's infuriating. Not only do they completely disregard Her Highness's lawful authority, but they also treat her like a mere PR figurehead, someone you can send around to make the people feel safe. The corrupt diet was bad enough, but the Royal Guard is even worse. That's not... I mean... I guess you're right. Your Highness. There's nothing I can say to that. Now when it comes straight from Her Highness. Are you talking about the ceasefire? Did something bad happen? いかなる理由があろうとは、あれは止めねばなりませんでした。大義のために切り捨てて良いものではありません。私たちが守るべきは国民の命です。その中にはもちろん前線に立つ兵士たちも含まれます。Like Her Highness said before, there is no country without its people. So what is she trying to tell me? That His Excellency Karaga wanted the war to continue? Because if so, they're clashing on a fundamental level. And it ain't gonna be the last time. As a soldier, it's easy for me to see where His Excellency Karaga is coming from. Maybe we would have lost tons of Imperial soldiers in a war. But there's a good chance we could have solved the French problem once and for all. I mean, France wasn't in any condition to fight a protracted war. The longer the battle had continued, the worse the food crisis at home would have become. Their population would have continued to dwindle, and their military strength would have soon followed. Given enough time, France would have had no choice but to surrender to the United States and Japan. And who knows, maybe that would have been for the best. With one less threat to worry about, the masses could have gone about their everyday lives much more peacefully. Her Highness, however, doesn't believe a lasting peace can be built atop the corpses of millions of French citizens. Because she desperately wants to protect the people, and not the Japanese people only. She believes it's a moral imperative to save everyone who can be saved. That's incredibly idealistic. Some might even say naive. But then again, so am I. I'm with you all the way, Your Highness. 100%. I agree the Supreme Military Leader is trying to do what he thinks is best for Japan. The difference is, Your Highness is an idealist, while His Excellency Akaraga seems to be a deeply pragmatic man. But you prevailed in that struggle, and we have a shot at peace thanks to your ideals. If I might be so bold, it's damn impressive. More so after the Royal Guard tried so hard to turn you into a puppet. As far as I'm concerned, I think that's great. I don't care if it was just a spur-of-the-moment decision. It was the right thing to do. We have one hell of a fight ahead of us, but I want to help you bring your ideals to life. Well, I gotta admit, idealism suits me better. I've experienced firsthand what you get when you're completely pragmatic, and it ain't pretty. Your Highness, Lieutenant, Second Lieutenants, I look forward to working with you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So <笑>にぎやかなことは良いことでしょう。今の時代ならばなおさら貴重でありましょう。どのような困難な時にも笑顔を忘れない。難しいことですよ。お言葉ですが、何事にも限度というものがあります。しかし、どうしました? 
あいえ殿下の周りにあのような人間が必要というのであればよいそのようなことは考えるなは出過ぎた真似をいたしましたあの者が一番他人を求めている時一緒にいてられなかったのに、うん、今さら何を言えよういや I'm very interested because I'm assuming there's going to be a reunion moment between, you know, the Shogun and Takeru. I'm very interested to see how that plays out. どうにも。敵さんの数が減ってるような気がするんだよな。おい、そっちのデータリンク更新はどうなってる？ダメです。上空に磁気嵐が停滞しているようで真っ白けです。クソの役にも立ちません。ったく使えねえな。まともに機能
あ、ま、<笑> See, it ain't so simple. People in Athabasca were the one, were the only ones who suffered. No one else had to make any sacrifices to stop the beta. Put yourself in their shoes. What if Suno Village had been sacrificed in order to save the rest of Kyushu? Would you still be okay with it, Miyano? It's even worse when you remember it's going to take several centuries before anyone can set foot in that place again. And even then, assuming humanity is still around, you can't simply let people back in, not with a bunch of live nuclear shells lying around the place. <laughs> それ。それに怒りの矛先は話が通じる相手じゃないと意味がないっていう皮肉があるのよね。ベートに組んでも流院が下がるようなないからな。そしてそこに大解放が加わった。これもアメリカのせいだと感じている人は。<笑> Yes, I know. I screwed up. I can't condone any behavior that would recklessly place your own life at risk. I know better these days. You only have one life to throw away, so you better make your death count. But back then, I thought stopping the war was worth it. At the very least, Her Highness seemed to agree. Now that I think back on that conversation, her highness was trying to tell me I should make good use of my life. And she did that because she knows that her orders may very well get me killed one of these days. That's gotta be why she said that stuff about being a guidepost and me leaving her behind. Damn. I'm amazed she's thinking this far ahead. <laughs> Not this again. I bet Yusuke's thinking this is all her fault. At least that's what she usually does. She can't keep acting like this. It's not healthy. Huh? What the hell, Ellen? Are you seriously bringing that up now? <laughs> yeah, of course. Huh? <laughs> oh crap, I better do something. Matsukaze, ain't we supposed to be on standby, bro? Captain Kamaki's gonna be on our ass if we keep chatting like that. Time to get the comms. Oh man, that Matsukaze sure is trouble, right? Dude told me we wanted to have a talk, but he never said it was gonna take place in a bar. That's just how he is. <laughs> I told you, Lieutenant Kamio. I told you. Anyone would suspect foul play after you three trashed my room like a bunch of idiots. Yep. Well, I guess we really didn't want you guys to find out because, you know, there were some real pretty chicks at the bar, let me tell you. I mean, they sure were pretty, but all my pickup attempts ended in failure, so it ain't like it matters. Ha 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 I'll ask Matsukaze to go along with my story later. Uh, oh no. I only made things worse. More like Matsukaze did, I was just watching, honest. B because I was dying to go back home. <laughs> Because I'm lying, woman, I made it all up. Just give it a rest already. Uh, that's all Ellen talking out her ass. She was there. I would never. I'm not. 
本当独占欲強いんだからユズカは違いますそういうんじゃありません<笑>本当に本当ですよ別に立浪注意が可愛い女の子がいるお店に行こうがナンパしようが私には関係ありませんあそうなら響き、yeah. 私も連れてったよ一緒にナンパよどうしてエレンがあら私可愛い女の子大好きよねえしずくんハハハハああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ作戦は順調に推移しています。まもなく我々にも移動命令が下ると思われます。部隊移動の準備は。The operation. 隊員。聞こえてるわよ。ほ、ほう。商談の予定なんて私が気にすることじゃないでしょう。わかりました。命令に備えて待機してください。了解。Huh? She hit me with a huh?